Hey, you guys. I almost hit the live button to come on live, but I'm scary. There you have it. You guys let me know if you want to go on live sometime this week. I don't know. I'm going to try it, but I don't know what's going to happen. I'll pretty much call you guys' name. Anyway, all of my day ones. Uh, so you guys talk to me. I talk back. Um, if it's a premiere, I'm in the comments watching you guys, watching it with you guys. And I probably just finished recording it probably 10 minutes ahead of time, if anything. But anyway, it takes time for it to download. So that's why I do it that way. But I think I'm ready to go live with you guys. Uh, so anyway, you know me, Phoenix, Phoenix and Path Intuitive. Cancer only channel, but cross watchers are welcome. You guys remember you are an asset, not a liability. All cancers aren't perfect, even though I want them to be and even though I am. <laughs> I want you guys, look, personality disorder, that just tells you who I am. Okay. Anyway, I want you guys to enjoy and listen and learn and grow from the reads that I do. I don't want to trauma bond with anybody. I'm going to say what I see because I love you guys. I really do. I give my energy to the people who who deserve it. And I feel like we as cancers deserve to hear another perspective, another cancer say exactly the emotions that we go through. And also just to let you know, my placements are all over the chart. I am a cancer son, Libra moon, my Gemini is in Mercury. You know, I got, uh, I just have a uh, all of the, I'm um, just all over the place, okay? So I just say that to say to you that, you know, I really love you guys, you know? So if you want to support my channel, you can start off by liking the video. If you guys hear videos, look at, I'm so tired of this person, whoever this is. Y'all, I'm tired of them. I do have Gemini in my chart. I just said that. But whoever this Gemini is, they need to get their shit together. And I don't have a problem with saying that. But it's going to take for you to get your shit together for this Gemini to get their shit together. Air, energy, listen to the story. If this is not a Gemini you're dealing with, some type of similarity is happening when it comes to this situation. I'm not sure who this is for, but take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Sit back and ride out with us because you'll hear something. If it makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up or if it makes you mad, it's something you need to work on. So that's what we're here for. It's not about pointing the finger or saying that one person is better than the other. That's not the case. What we're doing is trying to heal and we're healing together. That's just how I see it and going from there. So I'm going to hurry up and do this read because my pretty just went to get her some french fries. She runs my nephew, my son, and so that's what she just did. So that's just right down the street. Opposite sex is here, but I'm not going to take these cards because, yes, I am. Anyway, opposite sex. Con contrasting energies, alternative viewpoints, um, secret admirer, and get in preference. Uh so that is the opposite sex. Look at all these cards that come out. I'm so tired of this person. Okay, so now we have a Leo. We have somebody that's witty. Um, I have Leo in my chart as well. Somebody that's young or young-minded. Five, the card number five. Restless, impatient, rush to decisions, always looking for changes. Financial constraints. Somebody is going through financial constraints because they do things leisurely. They're very swift and they're dark skinned. Of the opposite sex, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. At one point, you were admiring this person, and that is where we are. I'm so tired of this person. If this person doesn't show their face and show the things that they're supposed to when it comes to us, Cancer. We going to have a ride out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. So again, this person or your person could have, you know, Gemini in their chart um, somewhere. Or this could be your energy. You could be the toxic Gemini or cancer with Gemini placements. And it's causing uh, uh, and, and running a muck around people. I don't know how to say that, but that's what, you know, the older people in my day oh damn i sound old the older people in my day used to say so now we're going to start with the yin and yang deck this is who we're dealing with a gemini or a leo a dark skin young minded i feel like a uh, person so 
that is where we are going from there. Uh, now I'm going to pull from the yin and yang oracle deck. I want to pull, I'm going to pull from the messages. What is this? The unsent messages. I'm not together. I just finished my, I just finished my law class and it's literally, y'all want me to be y'all lawyer? <laughs> Cause the way I feel right now, Ooh, this better be worth it. No, I know I, it is because I'm always fighting for everybody's well-being. You know, us as cancers and I have Leo on my chart. We don't take shit from anybody and we don't listen. So this could be a good situation. So I'm pulling out cards so that I won't have to go back through here. I'm pulling from the messages of the heart by all things intuitive. I'm pulling from the lover's journey oracle. I'm going to pause this for a second so it might not come in uh until like 10 30 because um pretty is on her way back and of course dealing with the gemini we have to pull from the song deck and um maybe what's the t just depends on how i feel when we get down to that to that point in the shadows because they live in the shadows so this is where it's going to be good and juicy okay but at the end of this we're going to let this energy go and learn where we heal from it. You don't have to talk to me. I get it. I understand. Um, I'm very secretive. So I totally understand. And yes, I have my headscarf on. I've had it on all day, but I haven't went out the house. My mother used to say, don't even walk out of your room with your headscarf. And you see these people with their headscarves on and my ears and eyes burn. But it's okay. We learn it. We learn it. So I okay, I got all my cards out and we're ready to do this. Now, again, this young dark skinned Gemini, Leo, somebody witty, leisurely, uh, is going through some type of financial constraints or cause you to have some type of financial constraints um that cause you to be restless or maybe they are impatient and they rush to decisions. Of course they do. They're Gemini. Always looking for changes. Yes, yes, yes. Opposite sex. Contrasting, contrasting energies, alternative viewpoints, secret admirers, and get a pre preference. So there you have it. Somebody who you probably admired. Child, look, I'm so tired of this person. If they don't get it together and, I mean, it comes out the way it's supposed to come out. Yeah, awakening. You had an awakening or this Gemini, Leo person is having an awakening because they're reflecting these cards flew out yep Sagittarius is here so now we have Leo said come on there's a reflection and there is somebody asking for help from their spirit guide so again fire energy air energy dealing with the cancer somebody that's witty young and impatient Oh, look at that facade. Their belief system is different. Should I keep pulling? No, I'm going to go ahead and take that. This facade here. Y'all look. I'm tired of these air energies, okay? <sighs> okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is just where we are right now. Secret admirer, your comfort zone. Um... Let's pull from the, damn it. it. It just hurts my heart because I know the feeling of this, you know. My dad was a Gemini, first of all. Let's just talk about that. And um, he passed away last year in April. It was a year that he passed away in April. But that was my, that was my, my dad. That was my, he was my he was all of these in the above and the funny thing is my mom is a leo so just to let you know what i saw and i still loved him no matter what my mom didn't try to turn us against him you know he had his own way of dealing with things he would get mad at me cozy heart a warm embrace so this is us talking about how we feel comforting and familiar um so when i tell you that there was pretty much nothing that he could i would laugh at him all the time uh, because he just he was he was he was him that's who it is and that's why I can understand this energy being here so let's just read Gemini because I didn't read it because we so tired of them right now imaginative generous clever quick-witted hmm. my dad was generous but he was a penny pitcher so I don't know how to say he was generous with himself and he wanted people to be generous with him 
I mean, take what resonates. So uh, quick-witted, adaptable, sometimes moody, inconsistent, and changeable. That's the Gemini, right? Leo. Prideful, gener uh, generous, true blood leader, charming, loving, popular, very trustworthy. When out of balance, tends to be controlling, boastful, and intolerant. Come on now. How many Leos do you know is like that? Hmm. Is this just fantasy? Questioning uh, it all. Attaching to the ego come on now so yeah that's how they make you feel mysterious the lord um silent seduction keeping one eye watching so you know something mysterious about them if you think about about gemini's who do you know that's a gemini that's in the limelight um first of all prince prince is a gemini second of all alan iverson um I want to say, hmm, I was going to say Marky Mark, but I don't think he's a Gemini. But anyway, look up the Geminis that you know. Silent contemplation, complex love, seeking answers. So, yeah, attempting offer is here. So this Gemini is seeking answers and are trying to give you a tempting offer because nine times out of ten, if you're with the rest of us cancers, you removed your energy from them. And that's just that, you know. So <sighs> take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But Whoever this fire energy, Gemini, air energy, Leo, um, twin flame type energy. See, because this is the main thing that you are. We always go to say twin flames, but this is a mirror and soul. This is somebody who is mirroring the things that you need to fix about yourself. I kind of see attention. Yeah, turbulence, arguments, and stress. Of course it is. Of course it is because when we get mad... There's turbulence. Only when we get mad, we kind of deal with it. We try to stay our peace, but when they try to make us feel crazy, then we have to turn a masculine Gemini. Okay, just masculine. Um, I'm going to and somebody with clarity, honesty, intention, and the truth. They might not be truthful to the things you want them to be truthful to, but farewell is here. Goodbyes, finality, and then closure. So. Um, that is where this energy is with this Gemini. Come on, you guys. Hold on one second. My pretty just walked in the door. Let me get her french fries together, and then I'll get back on. Hold on. Okay, so she's sitting at the table. Doesn't mean she's not going to come in here. I cut the light off right here so you wouldn't have that glare. So the farewells is because this masculine energy, I'm just saying, now it could be a, it could be a female, so don't. Don't get it twisted. Don't feel like, okay, well, this message isn't for me. It's not the case. But because Farewell came out, we'll pull from the breakup oracle. Um, yeah. Also, okay, first of all, let's say it like this. Purple Hearts, if you want me to go live. Yeah, Purple Hearts, if you want me to go live. That way, because I don't want to be on live and nobody is there, okay? I'm going to be sad. I'm going to be like, nobody loves me. Cancers don't rock with me. I'm going to be like, all in my feelings. And so, so Purple Hearts, if you want me to go live. And then also, I was thinking about doing a raffle. Um, Where is my deck at? The What's the Tea deck? I have an additional, because I'm a multiple buyer. Uh, and I also spoke with, um, oh shoot. I almost knocked this down. I also spoke with uh, Virtual Reality. She's helping me with my cards. Because I'm coming up with a music deck. Sorry, I'm so ghetto. I just drank my soda. I'm coming up with a, a couple of other decks. A deck that I've been sitting on for like a couple of decks I've been sitting on for a while. But I'm also coming up with a music deck. Because y'all know who my favorite is. I shouldn't have to tell you guys. If you don't know, I'll tell you, I guess. Jagged Edge, Donnell Jones. You know, I'm I'm the 90s girl, you know, 90s, you know, music or whatever, R&B. And I like rap, too. But I like I like raunchy rap. Trina, come on now. Lil' Kim. I'm all in that bag. So I'm going to do a raffle um, as well. And I'm going to raffle off this card deck. So this is the What's the Tea deck. And um, let me know uh, by... Uh, orange hearts in the comments if you guys want to be if you guys want to do a raffle it'll probably be like something the uh, number two 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 three 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 you know so two dollars twenty two cents three dollars thirty three cents something like that just to keep the numbers pretty cool but anyway let's go back to this read so I'm about to burp sorry I'm drinking a soda my son got me a soda so sorry 
that's my drug of choice. There you have it. Um, but yeah, I just feel like with this twin flame energy, we're mirroring, we're reflecting, and we are, you know, projecting the things that they're projecting the things that we need to change uh, for ourselves to learn how to set boundaries, to learn to be, you know, uh, in that. Mm, I'm not gonna say moody, but that that fur that what is it that firm state of when you set boundaries and when you don't care if you hurt somebody's feelings you just say what you're you say no and that's that so that's this energy that's here now this is the breakup oracle deck to see what's going to come out okay stalking and worried so that came out stalking worried and one last chance <sighs> this is how i see this energy like if you don't get it together because they're arrogance, I didn't, I, if I don't get what I want from you, then I'll get it from somebody else. That's their arrogant ass energy. And you know what? You're just tired of it. So when you start removing your energy and working on yourself and healing yourself and asking the spirit guides to help you figure out if this is a twin flame energy, you know, because there's so much tension, you need clarity. Because that's what you're asking for is clarity because it's so much tension. But yet and still, it's like silent contemplation. Like you're contemplating, you know, and seeking answers uh, for this complex love because you know that in deep down inside, this person is good. They're fun. You enjoy this person. They're witty. You know, they're young hearted or young minded. One of the two. And that's how I kind of see it. And so at that same point, you're just like, you know, universe. Please, spirit guides, help me. Because this person moves, and when they move, they move swift. You know what I'm saying? So, and you're just tired of that shit. You know, like you're hella tired of that. And you're just like, I need something different, but I don't want to go to nothing different. And we figure out this is a masculine type energy, but they move too swift. But, you know, they start stalking you and get worried and say, is this just a fantasy and question? That's what you do. Like you're questioning it all and attaching uh, to the ego, their ego, right? And so then when you start to realize and they start to realize that your warm embrace and your comforting familiarity is gone because again, you removed yourself, farewells, you know what I'm saying? And they thought you were playing. And now you're serious when it comes to this one last chance energy because, you know, they're, they have to have an awakening because you're tired of this shit. So stalking, um, often, I often check on your social media to see what you're up to. Because again, the mysterious allure is that the silent seduction of you and they're keeping one eye watching you, you know, and you might think that this is your twin flame, but you need more than that. You know, you need more than just a fantasy and worry. I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us. Okay, but when are you going to do something about it? Does that make sense? So that's just how I see that. Now, this is from the song deck. Now, if I got to sing tonight, I don't mind because I didn't listen to my music today. And I need to sing. And I don't know how, but you guys bear with me because, you know, this is how it goes. You know, um, you know, I get in my jagged edge bag, uh, but I don't think that card is in here. X factor. Now, listen, it could all be so simple. Come on, y'all rock with me. It could all be so simple, but you'd rather make. OK, I can't sing, but you'd rather make it hard. OK, I'm going to quit. Um, loving you is like a battle and we both end up with scars. Tell me, who do I have to be? Because they want you to be somebody else, but then they love you for who you are. Some bullshit. Back up on that bullshit, right? It says, get uh, to get some reciprocity. See, no one loves you more than me, and no one ever will. That's just that. That's that's. It could all be so simple, but you'd rather play the games, right? No scrubs, because you don't want... Okay, here's my song. You don't want no scrubs and I'm not going to, okay. A scrub is a guy that thinks he's fly and is also known as a buster because this person thinks they're fly and I bet you they're weird as shit, but you know, it's also known as a buster always talking about what he wants and what he used to right? but he don't sit on his broke ass. No, he don't do that. So no, 
I don't want your number again. I don't want to give you mines anymore. No, I don't want to meet you nowhere. No, I don't want none of your time because that's the one last chance energy. That don't mean you really care. I mean, you really feel that way. Maybe to some, but not to most. But anyway, my other card that's under here is my song, Bruno Mars. Talking to the... Come on, y'all. Talking to the moon. Trying to get to you. So they worry now. They're stalking you. Because they, they're talking to the moon, right? And they know that's how you live in 5D energy, right? It says, uh, trying to get to you in hopes you're on the other side talking to me too. Or am I a fool who sits alone talking to the moon? Well, we were fools sitting alone talking to the moon. And then Khalid, hey pretty, Khalid right back is underneath here. So, hey baby, what you doing? Huh? Come on, because it's almost time. Uh, so, yeah. Let's pull from the messages of, of the heart. We haven't even pulled tarot again. It's just like this energy keeps coming out. And we just, you know, before we even get to tarot, you know. Huh? Where are you going? You going to your room? Divinely guided. You have met your divine flame. Just allow the signs to your soul and everything will occur in divine timing. So you know that, but you're over that. Take an aim. They have stepped into their power and taken action towards you. They will not miss the mark. So, they're... hey, why are you yelling? I'm recording. What's up, pretty? You get my lawyer. Go tell your uncle. Thank you. Uh, so, uncle. all right, go tell him. Sorry about that. No, I'm not sorry about that. That's family. Y'all family. That's what happens. So take an aim, right? So they're taking aim towards you. Remember I said to you, every time that Cupid bow pulls back, that was your energy. And now they're figuring it out because you're they're stalking you. They're worried that they're losing their twin flame. You probably said that I think we're soulmates. I think we're twin flames and that we were guided to be together. Same energy of talking to the moon. So if you can imagine Bruno Mars, oh, he's short, but he's cute. But if you can imagine how he's looking, talking to the moon because he's in pain. But this is a divinely guided situation. At least you feel that way. But now you're starting to wonder. So the witch is here. You're wondering what the problem is, right? So the witch is here. They see how powerful and magical you are. And sometimes they wonder if you have them under a love spell. No, you just truly know how to love. And that's the difference. And you love unconditionally until you don't love or you walk away until you remove that because of situations that happens when it comes to their ego, right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, what does this say here? Um, where is it at? Do, 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 do. It was a card out here that says something about the ego. Right here, attaching to the ego. Is it just fantasy? Question it all, attaching to the ego. So that's what I'm saying. We don't, we hate to deal with egos. They're cute at first, but then when it gets to a point to where we start feeling disrespected, then it becomes, it's not cute anymore. So that's where the boundaries come in at in the beginning. If you don't set the boundaries in the beginning, then your reflections will be pain and heartbreak. You know, but it's hard to set a boundary with a Gemini um, or a Leo, too, because they're so strong headed. But that's OK. You can still do it. Don't let nobody tell you different, you know, because sometimes you go and you see some Gemini's and you see Leo's that have uh, that became married. But you don't under, you don't know this. OK, because a lot of people who, who are married and have been married to certain individuals have went through hell. It's just how they choose to deal with it and what they actually show the world. And that's where, you know, we differ at stability. See, because you feel like this is a, it could be stable. This relationship can stand the test of time because it already have. When my cards come out, if the eight of pentacles come, you know, that's eight years. If the nine of pentacles come, you're happy now after the ninth year of you finding yourself. Has nothing to do with this person. Finding yourself. You have to find yourself in order to love a Gemini, in order to love, especially a Gemini, in order to love a Leo, passion, 
Try something you've never done before. That's when you have to figure out which direction you want to go into. But you have to focus on self-care. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself before you act or before acting. So, And then apology. You can expect the apology that you want to hear. However, as I tell you before, that apology is not going to come the way that you want it to come. It's going to be through song. It's going to be through, um, so I was going to come get you. You want to go with me? That's how it's going to come out or something like that. If it's a female opposite sex, it says opposite sex here. So it's not going to come out the way you want it to come out. It just, it's not going to, I'm sorry. It's not, it's just not going to. So since we talked about virtual reality, what's the tea? I didn't say I was pulling this. I'm going to go ahead and pull this deck and see what comes out. Again, um, I am oh, chaser. Yeah, runner chaser energy. But I am going to r raffle this card deck off. Uh, again, I won't put it any more than $4.44, which is four four four, Um, And we will have a raffle for it. And I think I'll end it within a couple of weeks. It'll be automated through a computer generated raffle. It's nothing about me picking a, um, a person, but the chaser energy is here. So that's how you feel like you're running here. Let me show you. That's the girl back there, but that's how you feel like you're running and you're chasing this person in order to get to love you, um, in order to love you, in order to get them to love you. That's how you feel, you know? So Again, that's not a way you want to feel. Yeah, thinking. This person is thinking, bottom of the deck. So once you focus on self-care, this person is thinking. And why? If this falls over on camera, I'm going to fall out. Ghost it because you ghosted them. You left them finally. You're not chasing them anymore. You ghosted them. Shining from within. Yeah, you're shining from within no matter what. Again, self-care, you have to focus on yourself. If you want to love these, these strong-minded individuals you gotta love yourself you gotta find out ways to be able to make time for yourself to make a schedule for yourself i mean if it takes for you to even go walk in the mall i don't know i'm drinking some soda so hard hold on one second excuse me if it if it takes for you to go walk into a mall just to get out and to say that you're doing something you got to you got to that's that. I'm going to pull from the Situation Deck by Intuitive Envisions 1111. She's on Etsy, too. Um, yeah, because... Oh, wait. If you want the coupon code for Virtual Reality 9 Tarot, uh, her, it's Phoenix Save 10. You can save 10%. But, yeah, um, I just... You know, you're going to have to make yourself busy. Yeah, because, see... A rage comes and being ready to explode when they feel like they're losing you because this was a magnetic, uh, unexplainable pull that you couldn't resist and that, and they couldn't resist, but they were too, um, I'm not putting another card up there. They were too uh, arrogant to say it. So, or too petty, jealous, petty, jealous, envy, and there was gossip, but I don't know what that resonates to. We don't worry about gossip. We're worried about our feelings and our situationships that's going on. So, that's just how I see that energy, you know, and excuse me, a lot of the times we have to realize why that energy is there. You got to focus on yourself. It's a mirroring type energy. This is from in the shadows, but already I see a card. I love myself enough to walk away. That's already over. And I shuffle my cards all the way. That should just let you know where you are with this situation and why you ghosted them, why you had some closure, why you're not even admiring. And that that's where a secret admirer comes in at because they're worrying about what you're doing and why you decided to focus on self-care because you kept asking yourself the same question. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, right here. You kept asking yourself, is this just fantasy? You know, and you asked the universe to help you. And you had to say, I love myself to walk away. You know, I love myself enough to walk away. And that is where you are with this situation. And this is all about what we're learning and how we're dealing with it because their ego is too much. I pretend you don't mean that much. And you probably do that or they probably do that until leaving you hurt, hurt 
to hurt me too. So you probably left them again and it hurt it hurt you and it hurt them, but I understand you better now. So that could be the energy that this person is is dealing with now and that's why they're talking to the moon. I understand you better now. And so that's just where we are. Look at all of this. We have not pulled one tarot card. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull from this deck. I don't know what the name of it is. But again, yeah, you ghosted them. You know, I think I'm going to put I love myself enough to walk away. I think that's what I'll name this. I did three readings today. I want to try to do at least three to four a day. But the way my brain is set up and the way all of these things I'm doing is set up, I got to kind of take it easy. All right. The temperance energy is balanced. Somebody had to balance out the scales when it came to love and when it came to happiness. So the lover's energy, card of Gemini, temperance, Sagittarius energy, right? Um, which is out here, fire energy. And the lover's is Gemini doing what makes your heart happy. Or this is love. This is a uh, passion and this is uni union. And the four of wands energy is... Uh, Peace, happiness, and harmonious energy. So this is knowing what causes you peace and happiness. So this card fell out, which is nine of pentacles. Didn't I tell we was going to pull this? Did I say we was going to pull the nine of pentacles? Did I not say that? It flipped out. And then we have the queen of our energy, the queen of cups energy. And so the nine of pentacles comes out in reverse, right? And so uh, in the reverse, the nine of pentacles is materialistic energy and financial insecurities this person was causing you financial insecurities and they're very materialistic and that's why the queen of pentacles excuse me the queen of cups energy is be someone who makes everyone feel important look them through their eyes and make them feel understood however you did that but the finances had to come with that situation because like i told you about my father he liked for people to invest in him just simple as that. Leo pretty much has it together, but this person, this Gemini will test you and see what it is that you can offer. Not saying that the Leo won't. I'm just giving you what I've seen about my father. Now take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but your nine of pentacles, you haven't reached it yet because you were so busy giving. You were so busy giving to situations and probably trying to not even win this person over, but because you could you know, you, you were giving to this person and trying to just do until you weren't giving no more tower energy, tower energy says, um, let's see the tower energy says, let me find it. Oh, sometimes you need to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself, rebuilt better, stronger, uh, and wiser. So that's what you're doing, you know? And, and that's, that's okay. I love myself enough to walk away. And that's what you did. You walked away and now they're talking to you through the moon and they better understand you now. Completion is the world energy, but I'm going to pull a couple of more cards because it's just letting you know that you're growing from this situation. You know, the universe said to focus on self-care. This magnetic uh, pull that this person has um, is, is, about materialistic as well not saying that they don't love you but it's causing you to be in a financial uh crunch so this is the four cups you reach the plateau you're bored you reach the plateau you know you're it's time for you to move forward and you're disconnected from the situation and so therefore this person is trying to figure out why remember i said the world card was their completion unsure energy about the seven of pentacles planting the seed working on yourself so the seven of pentacles in the upright right seven years right i said that to you earlier is uh joy positive results and patience right in the reverse is doubt and delusions and impatience so this is unsure you were trying to think like am i impatient should i wait a little bit longer but the knight of swords energy tells you be tough be ambitious know what you want and go after it in a single-minded determination in the reverse is ridicule. So you feel like this person is ridiculing you and there will never be any type of completion with the world energy. The world energy in the upright is, is being spontaneous, arriving and living life. And in the reverse is emptiness and lack of closure. So you don't have closure and therefore, yeah, three of swords. There's more so heartbreak here. Uh, heartbreak, seeking liberation and finding a way out because you have options here. You have options, and therefore, the hermit energy says, this is seven of cups, the hermit energy says, 
Um, sometimes you need to withdraw in order to rediscover your own rich inner world through tranquility, meditation, and reflection. And so that's why they better understand you is because they realize that you're not, they're not the only person that has options. You do too. And so when you went into hermit mode, you turned around and you changed up everything. And now it's time for a new beginning. The Ace of Pentacles energy is happiness, joy, and a new beginning. So that is where you are right now at the situation. So I'm going to pull from the Law of Attraction deck, and then I'll pull from the Question deck. And Mama. then we'll... Hold on one second, pretty. Then we'll release this energy, right? We'll go ahead and release this energy. Oh, actually, first of all, before I pull from the Law of Attraction, I'm going to pull from the Heart deck, the Heart Oracle. I'm almost finished, okay, pretty? All right, uh, I'm going to pull from the uh, heart oracle to see what comes out. This card flies over playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is great. Is the greatest healing healer. So again, once you guys get to that point, that might be the case. But until you guys get there, you got to realize that don't write on my papers. Don't write on my papers. Hey, hey, hey. Go get your papers and write on them. Go get your ABCs. Write your ABCs in your room. Um, until you guys realize all of this and understand, you know, understand each other. I understand you better now. Leaving me, leaving you hurt me too. And always loving yourself uh, enough to walk away because you had to find a way out, seeking liberation, you know, from this heartbreak. So, again, once you practice self-care and realize the way out was for you to practice the self-care because you would never do it. Release attachment. Yeah, I just was saying you will never practice self-care if you don't go through these things and realize that you love yourself enough to walk away. So uh, I'll pull these. Let me see what's here. Uh, at the bottom of the deck or was that at the bottom of the deck anyway darkest before the dawn i think this was at the bottom of the deck break down before breakthrough major shifts in progress dissolving barriers and ascending so that's what's happening now hopefully you know hopefully that's what happened that's that's what's happening you know the full energy is taking a leap so you know that could be what the energy is you know taking a leap is darkest before the dawn once you release attachment and realize that you love yourself enough to walk away and you trust in the process everything always works out something something better is on the horizon have total confidence in the universe so that's what the universe is asking you when you ask for assistance here about this leo gemini air fire energy the past program had to be changed. You had to choose your beliefs, recognize false stories, external conditionings, make decisions that support your goals. Self-care, mayhem, your manifestation is happening. Current issues reveal past wounds, spiritual growth, and hang tight. So it's letting you know that leaving them, leaving them hurt you too. But I love myself enough to walk away, you know, and that's called self-care. Ultimate love. Forgive others and yourself. Release past. Send love, light. Change inner to change outer. So you got to change the way you practice your self-care and start shining from within so that you won't get to the point to where you're starting to take and you're not setting boundaries with yourself. Serenity. Take care of your vibrations. Positive environment. Clear space. Chakra slash healing energy. This is you. Okay, I'm recording. Hold on one second. This is you learning to love yourself and to be, you know, and to take care of yourself and your vibration. Future you now. Hey, stop. Um, you already, excuse me, you're already that person. Deserving. It says you are already that person. Deserving. You have arrived. Bucket list. Achieving uh, your dreams. So you're achieving your dreams now. That's why leaving them hurt you but you love yourself enough to walk away that's what i'm gonna name it now you know you're not chasing anybody anymore now i'm gonna pull from the question deck and then we're gonna release this energy because this was another good read tonight so there you have it again talk to me i talk back if i'm watching this i'll talk back to you um remember i think i said purple hearts if you want me to go live and i oh no 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 hold on i'm almost finished okay I said purple hearts if you want me to go live and I said oh if you want to do a raffle for those for the uh, what what's the T card deck you okay okay for the what's the T card deck if you want me to do a raffle uh, orange hearts in the comments so these cards flew out like that I'll take them when I take away all the shoulds 
what guidance do I fall? Should I, shouldn't I? You know, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? Should I leave? Should I walk away? Should I, uh, um, you know, should I do this? Should I, should I stay in this relationship? Should I trust the process? You know, instead of saying, you know, um, you know, I, that I, I will trust the process, you know, I will, you know, walk away. And then how can I see things for what they are instead of what I want them to be? Remember, I tell you as cancers, we already have our life planned out when we meet a person, when we meet them and they give us that love that or that attention that we want. We plan out this whole long drawn out life to live. So how can I see things for what they are instead of what I want them to be? We got to stop living in the fantasy land. We got to start living in the present moment and realizing that yesterday is history. Tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. So the way that somebody treats you in the present moment is the only thing that's real. The past is the past, but people can change. You know, you can either run from it or you learn from it. What's my biggest dream? Figure that out. That's a part of your self-care. Does that make sense? And then here it is. Did I follow my intuition today? What did it tell me? So did it tell you to come onto my channel and listen to me? Did it tell you to finish whatever project you started? Mine's did. Jeez Louise. That's what I'm doing. And then now we're going to go ahead and let this energy go because we already got all the information. This Gemini Libra, Libra air and slash fire energy is here. Did I pull tarot? I did pull tarot. Gemini came out again. So there you have it. A masculine Gemini Leo, um, young minded, dark skinned person. Who is this person? But anyway, let's let it go and wish them the best. Remember, um, I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions and remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation hey baby come here pretty come tell them like share subscribe okay bye. put your here take the such a mouth go ahead bye. say it like say it right say big girl Chance words bye. say it in your big girl's words Watch your squad. And hit the bell notification. The bell notification. So like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to be notified when I come on. All right, you guys. I love you. Sorry so late. It's about to be. It'll be 1030 when this posts. Bye-bye. It's 1007 now. Bye-bye.